Welcome to Oak Grove STEAM Academy's fourth grade curriculum night for the 2023-2024 school year. Meet Oak Grove's administration. Our principal is Penny Valle, and our new assistant principal is Lee Patty. We'd like you to introduce you to our fourth grade team, Miss. Dorsey is paired with Miss Boynton, Miss Cole is paired with Miss Hillegas, and you can see our supporting teachers listed underneath. Fourth grade student expectations. Fourth grade students are expected to soar with good character at Oak Grove. S stands for show respect, O stands for obey directions, A always be safe, and R ready to learn. So let's talk about homework. Students are expected to spend 20 minutes per night practicing social studies and science vocabulary. Students are expected to practice their multiplication facts for 20 minutes a night as well. Throughout the year, math and science teachers may send home passages for science and math re review sheets on Monday. If they send them home on Monday, they will be due on Friday. Our class expectations are to be respectful, Speak to turn, use appropriate language, and limit your distractions. Be responsible, use purposeful movement, use the appropriate voice level, and ask questions. And to be safe, proper use of equipment, be where you need to be, and keep your hands to yourself. Students will have an agenda in which they will keep their special schedule Quizzes and test dates will be noted, and an important upcoming dates, behavior notes if needed, and agendas will be checked once weekly. Please do not send transportation notes in the agenda as they will not be checked daily. Those should be sent in separately on a note. Thank you. Fourth grade parent procedures. Make sure your child is at school on time every single day as long as they're feeling well. The tardy bell rings at 735. Make sure to check Canvas frequently to monitor your child's progress in each subject. If you need a pairing code, please email denise.lewis at cherokeek12.net. In fourth grade, we have red communication folders that are divided into two sections. The return to school side, which is when you need to sign or return things to school, and the keep at home side, which is the graded work or informational flyers. You may remove these items daily. Please help your child out by removing these daily. Please review the fourth grade behavior course on Canvas nightly to review any behavior marks. Comments will be made by the teacher taking off the points as to why the points were taken off. Transportation changes sh should be sent by note in the morning. If an emergency situation arises during the school day, please call the school. Do not e email your child's teacher with transportation changes. What are standards? Standards are a list of topics and skills that must be covered during the course of the year. Each grade level has their own set of standards for each content area. Here at Cherokee County, we follow the state's required Georgia standards for reading, language arts, math, science, and social studies. If you would like to see a complete list of the standards, please click the link below. What is curriculum? Curriculum is how we teach the standards and the resources we use to do so. Our curriculum is created by Cherokee County School District Curriculum and Instruction Department. Our fourth grade English language arts active learning lesson structure. This is how our day is set up. It is divided amongst word work, whole group, small group, differentiated instruction, and writing. Each are guided with student need and curriculum. Here are the major topics that are covered in ELA. 
We have a balanced literacy block that includes word study, read out loud, reading mini lessons, small group guided reading centers, writing mini lesson, and independent writing. We also in writing include topics such as narrative, opinion, and informational. Students will learn to research topics to become informed writers. We will also continue to practice constructed response to write about reading. Students will write across all content areas. Students will also be assessed three times per year using Easy CBM, fall, winter, spring benchmark qualifiers for EIP, and informal scholastic running records. How to log on to RAS Kids at Home. Step one. Go to the Oak Grove Elementary homepage. The link is listed on this page. Step two, scroll down to the learning tools and click on it. Step three, select ES Student Resources. Step four, click the RAS Plus icon. And step five, click Login with Active Directory. Enter your school username followed by at CherokeeK12.net and then enter your school password. Our mathematics block is broken into three different parts. We have an opening, a work session, and a closing. The opening is where we um, open up using number sense. Our work session could be um, live instruction through, a t through the teacher, independent work, and center work, and then we all ended up with a closing where we summarize our learning or do a formative assessment. How to log on at, to iReady at Home. If you go to the Oak Grove Elementary School page, you're going to scroll down to Learning Tools and click on it. You're going to click the elementary school student resources, and then you're going to click the iReady icon. Once you do that, you're going to log in with Active Directory using your school username, followed by at cherokeek12.net, and then enter your school password. Major topics covered in fourth grade math. Fourth grade math focuses on building our fluency and accuracy with numbers and operations, Fractions, geometry, and measurement and data. Each student will take our iReady benchmark three times a year to track their growth each quarter. iReady weekly practice will be expected each week for 45 minutes. Some of the topics we cover are place value to the hundred thousands place, four digit by one digit, and two digit by two digit multiplication, up to four by one digit division, Fractions, which include equivalent fractions, comparing fractions, addition and subtraction of fractions with like denominators, decimals to the hundreds place, customary and metric measurement conversions, area and perimeter, 2D figures and attributes, parallel and perpendicular lines, and symmetry. Understanding your students' progress and goals in ELA and math. Each quarter, we send home students with a My Progress and Goal Sheet. On this My Progress and Goal Sheet, at the top it talks about ELA. This semester, students needed to get a certain amount of questions out of 20 correctly. Um, using this data, the ELA teachers came up with a mid-year goal out of the 20 questions that they would need to get correctly. Underneath there, you will see things that they can do at home to help them meet their goal. That might be read every day, listen to adults read to me and discuss what we read, use my phonics skills to sound out words when I get stuck, or write about what I read. In math, we use the iReady Diagnostic to determine the progress. Each year, we expect the student's growth to go up. So at the beginning of the year, they will have a score. We use this to determine a mid-year score. You can help them reach their goal by completing iReady sessions at home, practicing multiplication facts, asking questions when they need help, or practice word problems using strategies like Cube. Attached to your progress and goal sheet, you will see an iReady um, for family sheet. 
It will talk about how the students did on their diagnostic and things that they can do to uh, do better. Thank you. Our science lessons are broken down into three segments. We have the opening, which is our standard aligned learning targets and introducing vocabulary. It might be mini lessons and real world connections. Then we have our work sessions, which is our guided inquiry and hands-on investigations. And then we have our closing, which is summarizes our learning. It might be a formative assessment or questions to clarify understanding and pr promote reflection. Here are the major topics covered in fourth grade science. We start out talking about ecosystems, then the water cycle, which leads us to predicting weather. Then we start talking about stars and planets and earth movements. Then we go to light and sound and we end the year with forces of motion. This year, our class will be completing a year long STEAM project about learning to grow food without the use of fertilizers. This will be taught using aquaponics system in the classroom. Aquaponics is the raising of fish and plants in a recirculating ecosystem. The fish waste provides nutrients for plants. Bacteria and plants help to clean the water for the fish. Students will document their aquaponics journey through a blog post. Here is our fourth grade social studies active learning lesson structure. We start with an opening that would include our align learning targets and success criteria. And then we will have our work sessions where we work on inquiry tasks and some other hands-on performance tasks along with other things that are listed. And we will have our closing where we ask questions to clarify understanding and promote reflection. And we summarize and we formally assess to guide instruction. And here are the major topics covered in fourth grade social studies. We open with cause of the American Revolution. Then we go into the American Revolution, a new nation, westward expansion, abolitionist and suffrage, and then the Civil War. Here are your special teachers. For art, you have Mrs. Lammers. For CSI Lab, you have Mrs. Cook. For PE, you have Mrs. Sawyer. And for music, you have Mr. Murray. Students will go to the specials one day per week, and they will be on a rotating four-day week. Meet Denise Lewis, our Media Center Specialist. Our Media Center is now open to all students and teachers. Students are ready, are already checking out books. Kindergarten is allowed to check out one book that will stay in the classroom. First grade is one book each. Second through fifth grade students are allowed to check out two books each. Books are due every two weeks. Please ask your students about their library books so they have the opportunity to share and develop a love of reading. Please email Mrs. Lewis if you would like to volunteer in the Media Center the second quarter. Hey everyone, I'm Jenna Morris and I'm the AIM and ACE teacher. Um, this year, in addition to teaching AIM, the gifted and talented students, I'm also doing ACE, Academic Cognitive Enrichment, which is a critical thinking and extension small group that meets weekly. For that, this fall we'll, we'll be serving students in grades 1, 2, and 5. Students are identified with school-generated data, and eligible students will receive letters to notify parents of participation. I'm so excited to be working with your students this year. If you have any questions, you can email me at jenna.trahern at cherokeek12.net. This is our ESOL team. Our ESOL team supports students that English is a second language. They push into our classrooms. We have Miss Becky Ashworth, Miss Julie McNally, and fourth grade's representative is Miss Liz Pendlington.
Our instructional lead strategist is Lauren Kakavone. As Oak Grove's ILS, Lauren analyzes student assessment data and plans professional development for teachers that support our students' academic needs. She also trains teachers on how to implement CCSD's curriculum and make sure that teachers are comfortable with the action steps in our school improvement plan. Here we have Ms. Anna Mursajidin, our Parent Engagement Facilitator. As Oak Grove's Parent Engagement Facilitator, Anna is available to provide you with resources so that you can help your students' academic improvement at home. Anna also presents a variety of trainings during the year to keep you informed on ways to create and maintain a partnership between school, parents, and students. Please feel free to contact Ms. Anna at anna.mersajidin at cherokeek12.net for any needs or questions you may have. Oak Grove has an amazing family resource center. Be sure to check out this room in our library where you can borrow resources that will help you work with your students at home. Volunteer opportunities that are available to you. In the Media Center, we have a spring and fall Bedford Falls Book Fair. We might need help shelving books, weeding books, and reading across America Week, which is reading to students. For the PTA, you can join the PTA for a small fee. You can help in classrooms with class projects, volunteering as a chaperone, or for class field trips. In the clinic, you can help with hearing and vision tests. In the cafe, you can sell ice cream on Fridays. In the office, you can make copies. You can help in the office. You can help with bulletin boards or campus beautification. Join Ms. Valle's volunteer training at 6.30 in the Media Center. Please follow Oak Grove social media. We are on Facebook and on Twitter. Don't forget to read the Eagle Eye monthly parent newsletter. There is lots of information on those newsletters to help you stay up to date with what's going on at Oak Grove. Please pause the presentation here and scan the QR code to give us feedback on this presentation and suggestions for future presentations. Thank you for your time tonight.